This video is sponsored by Gold Inc., a mobile multiplayer game about building your very own gold mining empire. More about them later in the video. At rank number 25 is Immortals, Phoenix Rising. Rising into the first entry is Ubisoft's take on Breath of the Wild. It borrows familiar mechanics from Assassin's Creed and integrated it into a Zelda-like open world of emergent gameplay based on broken Greek mythology. A play score of 8.57. But rank number 24 is Life is Strange, True Colors. The latest Life is Strange title isn't from Don't Nod, but from Deck 9, the creators of the Before the Storm series. True Colors feels more AAA compared to its indie roots. It features a new area of Haven Springs accompanied by stellar voice acting from the main characters. And of course, the soundtrack is great. A play score of 8.57. At rank number 23 is Jurassic World Evolution 2. This sequel adds more chaos to your dinosaur theme park. Of course, it always ends in disaster. Adding more than just quality of life improvements, Evolution 2 features new dinosaurs to create and more customization options for your controlled prehistoric experiments. A play score of 8.60. At rank number 22 is Astro's Playroom. Free for every PlayStation 5 owner, this short but impressive tech demo of the console's new features is a much-needed introduction for players before they boot up a new game. Help Astro navigate around Sony cyberspace, tinker with a DualSense controller, and experience the PS5 as intended. A play score of 8.64. At number 21 is Returnal, a launch title exclusive for the PlayStation 5. Housemark's first AAA IP makes good use of Sony's flagship console, as you aid Selene in a never-ending roguelike trip to a decrepit Lovecraftian planet. Engage in blistering fast third-person shooter combat and feel the power of the DualSense controller with every shot. A play score of 8.67. At rank number 20 is Kenna, Bridge of Spirits. Ember Lab's indie project doesn't feel indie at all. Bridge of Spirits fits the signature Sony IPs when it comes to its cinematic value in gameplay. Use a variety of magic and light combat to guide Kenna as she saves her forest from a growing corruption. A play score of 8.69. Sneaking its way to rank number 19 is Hitman 3. The final Hitman game isn't going out anytime soon. His retirement is put on hold with IO Interactive adding more content to their award-winning stealth action game. The series has always given us the free reins on how to fulfill missions. This third entry lets you do that in every chapter. Plus, relive all the best moments. A play score of 8.72. At rank number 18 is Lost Judgment. This Yakuza spin-off finally gets its much-needed sequel. Taking notes from the first game's feedback, Lost Judgment feels refined and looks insanely good on the PS5. Beat a bunch of guys and solve mysteries as a badass investigator in the criminal underbelly of Japan. A play score of 8.75. Swinging its way into rank number 17 is Marvel's Spider-Man, Miles Morales. The other Spider-Man takes center stage in his standalone expansion. Although not exactly a sequel to Insomniac's web-slinging video game, the short adventure about Miles' growth as a character is enough to keep us entertained. A play score of 8.76. At rank number 16 is Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Ubisoft moves on from Greek territory and enters the realm of Vikings. Valhalla's massive open world is a joy to experience, although it can get a bit tedious. Engage in thrilling raids and action-packed set pieces set in medieval Europe. A third expansion, Dawn of Ragnarok, adds more content to the already packed Viking adventures. A play score of 8.78. At rank number 15 is Sackboy, a big adventure. Sony's adorable mascot gets his own game. It serves as one of PS5's launch titles, and it's made for little kids or kids at heart. Enjoy hours upon hours of 3D platforming wonder with Sackboy and make good use of the DualSense controller to get a feel of its systems. A play score of 8.81. At rank number 14 is Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. Far from the Chris Pratt cinematic counterpart, this is a whole new take on Marvel's space-faring heroes. Square Enix managed to get the characters right while creating an original story full of surprises and goofy humor. Square certainly learned a lot from its Avengers game. A play score of 8.83. At rank number 13 is Resident Evil Village. At this point, everyone has heard of Village. 
Its theme park of horrors is a fantastic way for new and old players to experience Resident Evil like never before. Its first-person perspective adds a new layer of fear hidden in every corner. An upcoming DLC is in the works, with Capcom promising more content from its characters. A play score of 8.85. At rank number 12 is F1 2021. Codemasters' annual Formula 1 game introduces a bunch of new mechanics, including a better career mode. It's still pretty much a racing game, and there's no need for changing. With PlayStation 5's new hardware, the driving experience and graphical fidelity is made even better. A play score of 8.85. At rank number 11 is Tales of Arise, the latest from the Tales series. Arise adapts to modern video game standards and introduces a slew of improvements to its traditional JRPG elements. Get ready to soak in hours of JRPG goodness with its massive scale and fast, fluid combat. It has a play score of 8.85. And now a quick word from our sponsor, Gold Incorporated. This is a free-to-play and play-to-earn multiplayer strategy game about mining for gold. That's right, you can download and start building your gold mining empire for the starting price of zero. Right from the get-go, you get 10 million as your capital that you can then use to buy excavators, wash plants, security, and all the other things you'll need to keep your business growing and protected. Just like in real life, you may not always hit gold, but worry not, you can still sell all the ores you mine to buy more fuel and equipment. So you can keep digging until you eventually do hit that elusive gold. That's when the real fun begins. Remember, this is a play-to-earn game, so you can actually get real-life moolah from playing. You can find and own claims worth as much as $10 million. That's because the game's currency GXB, available on the Apollo wallet, is designed to grow in value every day. If you've already dipped your toes into NFT gaming, you know how valuable it is to get in early. The more players come in, the more competitive it gets. So waste time no more. Play Gold Inc. for free. It's available on Android and iOS. Use our code 414-52546 upon sign up. Check out the links in our description box. Breaking into our top 10 is Deathloop, Arcane's latest IP after their successful Dishonored series. It takes everything good from their previous titles and infuses them into this impressive first-person shooter. It's a time loop that gets better after every death. For more about this game, you can check out our video on how to play Deathloop, a play score of 8.87. At rank number 9 is the Neo Collection. Inspired by FromSoft Soulsborne games, this action-packed RPG is as unforgiving for new and old players. This Neo Collection features the two Neo titles in one package, as well as all their DLCs and story content from launch, a play score of 8.90. At rank number 8 is Guilty Gear Strive, considered by many as the best fighting game of 2021. Strive displays Arc System Works talent in responsive controls, fluid combos, and appealing art styles. It also has a rocking soundtrack to boot. Pick a character from its varied roster and learn the ropes of this simple yet complex fighting game. A play score of 8.93. Lucky number 7 is Devil May Cry 5 Special Edition. Capcom's new-gen re-release for their character action game. This special edition is built for the PlayStation 5. It comes with Virgil as a playable character, packed with his own theme and movesets. Not only that, exclusive new modes are also available. A play score of 8.96. At rank number 6 is Final Fantasy VII Remake, Intergrade. Square Enix Final Fantasy VII Remake looks even better on Sony's latest console. The textures are improved. There's a new photo mode to take pictures of Tifa, and a special episode dedicated to Yuffie's adventures in Midgar. A play score of 8.97. Opening our top 5 is Death Stranding, Director's Cut. At this point, every game is getting a re-release for the PlayStation 5. Hideo Kojima's bizarre yet fascinating new IP was polarizing when it launched. In this Director's Cut, there are new ways to help Sam navigate treacherous terrains and deliver packages. Not only that, the Director's Cut adds a story mode that is reminiscent of Hideo Kojima's previous work. A play score of 8.98. At rank number 4 is Ghost of Tsushima, Director's Cut. Jin Sakai's journey in this Mongolian-infested Japan is made even better for the PS5. 
This director's cut includes a ton of new features, including better visuals and a story expansion taking place in Iki Island. A play score of 9.12. At number 3 is Demon Souls. This original Souls-like game gave birth to several video game articles about difficulty in gaming. Demon Souls is a remarkable remake of Hidetaka Miyazaki's 2009 classic. Thanks to Bluepoint Studios, the team behind the impressive remaster of Shadow of the Colossus, everyone can experience this pioneering IP in a whole new light. A play score of 9.26. At rank number 2 is Hades. Supergiant Games' latest title is breaking record after record. Hades' roguelike mechanics are integrated into a well-written story that develops after every run. The Greek mythology setting opens a new take on its popular stories, and Zagreus' relentless escape from the underworld is one of them. A play score of 9.26. And taking first place in our 25 best PlayStation 5 games is Ratchet & Clank, Rift Apart. This follow-up to the PS4's dynamic duo presents a whole new level of detail in each of its unique planets. The many weapons you can get are often gimmicky, but they serve their purpose well. It's also the best title to experience the PS5 with. With its DualSense controller support and blazing fast loading times, each gunshot has weight. If Rift Apart is the standard for Sony in their future titles, then there's gonna be more people lining up for that PS5. A play score of 9.27.